In this video, we're going to talk about combining like terms once again, but this time we're going to talk about combining like terms with the distributive property. Before we do that, though, I want to review combining like terms by itself and review combining like terms with shapes because I want to make sure you have a refresher of both. So make sure you have your highlighters out. Let's do a review of just combining like terms. So here I have a 9 and a negative 3. Here I have a positive 24x to the third power and negative 12x to the third power. So I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have a 9 and then I have minus 3 because it has a negative in front of it. 9 minus 3 is 6. And then I have 24x to the third power and then there's a minus here minus 12x to the third power. 12, 24 minus 12 is 12x to the third power. And if it helps you to circle those final answers that are going to go into your final final answer, then that helps too. So now we need to make sure we order these properly. So the highest power goes first, so 12x to the third power, and then that 6 is positive, so plus 6. And that's going to be your final answer. Let's look at the next one here. Make sure you have your highlighters. So we have 4k, and that's the only k we have. We have plus 9 and a minus 1, and then we have minus m. So let's go ahead and combine these. So the 4k is by itself. He's going to be part of our final answer. Now we have 9 minus 1, which is 8. He's going to be part of our final answer. And then we have negative m. And make sure that you get that negative because he's not combining with anybody, so he is what he is. All right, we need to put them in order, alphabetical order, because they all have a power of 1. So k and m, which one comes first? Well, k comes first in the alphabet, so 4k, and then minus m, and then plus 8 because the 8 is positive. If the 8 had a minus sign in front of it or a negative sign, then it would be minus 8. All right, let's do a quick review of finding the perimeter. Remember that perimeter means adding all the sides together. So if this is 2w to the third power, this is 2w to the third power. If this is 7f plus w to the third power, this is 7f plus w to the third power. So let's go ahead and add all these sides together. So I'm going to start over here. 2w to the third power plus 7f plus w to the third power plus 2w to the third power plus, and I'm going to add this last guy here, 7f plus w to the third power. I'm going to get out my highlighter and find my like terms. So I have here 2w to the third power plus w to the third power plus 2w to the third power plus w to the third power. Then I have plus 7f and plus 7f. So let me go ahead and combine. I'm going to focus on my yellows first. 2w to the third power plus w to the third power plus 2w to the third power plus w to the third power. I'm going to take them two at a time. Remember there's an invisible one here. 2w to the third power plus w to the third power is 3w to the third power. Bring down the rest of the problem. 3w to the third power plus 2w to the third power is 5w to the third power. Bring down the rest of the problem. 5w to the third power plus w to the third power. Remember, there's an invisible 1 there. That's 6w to the third power. He's going to be part of my final answer. All right, now I'm going to do my greens. 7f plus 7f. That's going to be 14f. He's also going to be part of my final answer. Now, what is my final answer? My highest power goes first. So 6w to the third power plus 14f. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now let's talk about distributive property. 
So, how do we do combining like terms with distributive property? It's not that bad. So, here's the original problem that I'm going to give you. Here's what it's going to look like. Step one that you're going to do is you're going to look at the problem and you're going to determine where you can distribute. The easiest thing to do is to look for the parentheses. Okay, here are the parentheses. Then, look for the number that's right outside attached to the parentheses. Okay, that's the 10. That's the number that is going to be distributed. Step two is distribute that and rewrite the problem. So the 10 gets distributed to the 3m, and then the 10 also gets distributed to the k. So 10 times 3m is 30m. 10 times k is 10k. And then I brought down minus 7m, and I brought down plus 14k. Step three is to combine your like terms and solve. So I highlighted my 30m and my minus 7m, and then I highlighted my 10k and my 14k. And then 30m minus 7m is 23m, 10k plus 14k is 24k. Now the mistake that I made here is I did not put them in alphabetical order. So this should be 24k plus 23m. So please make sure that you correct that final answer. All right, now let's do some examples. So find your parentheses, okay, here they are. Find the number outside, here it is. Distribute, okay? Three times C is three C. Bring down your operation, which is plus. Distribute again, three times three is nine. Then bring down the rest of the problem, plus 7c. Now, all you do is combine like terms. Here's the 3c, plus 7c, and then here's a plus 9, okay? So 3c plus 7c, that's 10c. That's going to be part of your final answer. And then 9 is just by itself. And then so your final answer is 10c plus 9. All right, let's try another problem. Step one, find your parentheses. Here they are. Step two, where's the number right outside of them? Right here, let's distribute. Five times four is 20. Bring down your operation, which is plus. Distribute again. Five times x is five x. Now bring down the rest of the problem, minus two x. Now all we do is combine like terms like normal. Here's a 20, here's a plus 5x, here's a minus 2x. So the 20 can't combine with anybody, but then we have 5x minus 2x equals 3x. So what's the order for the final answer? 3x plus 20. All right, let's get a little bit harder here. Step one, find your parentheses. Here they are. Find the number outside the parentheses. Here it is. Let's distribute. 12 times x is 12x. Bring down your operation, which is plus. 12 times 2y. Well, what's 12 times 2? 24, and then bring down the y. Now, bring down the rest of the problem minus 6y minus 3x. Now combine like terms. So here I have a 12, here I have a plus 24y, a minus 6y, and then I have a minus 3x. So the 12 is by itself, 24y minus 6y is 18y, He's going to go in the final answer. And the minus 3x is by itself. Oh, no, it's not. Miss Oates made a mistake. Oh, no. Look what I did. 12 times x was 12x. I forgot the x up here. Oh, no. Okay, let's erase this problem and start again. Sorry. 
Okay, let's erase this problem and start again. I could go back, but I don't want to confuse you. Okay, 12 times x is 12x. I forgot to write the x. Bring down your operation. 12 times 2y is 24. And look at that. I was about to mess up again. 24y. And then bring down the rest of the problem. Okay. Now combine like terms. Sorry. Okay. 12x minus 3x. And then we have plus 24y minus 6y. Okay. So we have 12x. I keep forgetting that x. Minus 3x which is 9x. And then I have 24y minus 6y, which is 18y. Okay, now what's the order for the final answer? What comes first, x or y? x. So 9x plus 18y. And it's plus because the 18 is positive. All right, let's move on to the next problem. Sorry about that. Okay, so find your parentheses. Okay, so they're right here. What's the number outside? Okay, it's right here. Let's distribute. 2 times a is 2a. Bring down your plus sign. Now 2 times 1 is 2. Now bring down the rest of your problem, plus 17a. Okay, let's highlight our like terms. So here's 2a plus 17a. And then here's a plus 2. All right, so we have 2a plus 17a. 2 plus 17 is 19a. So he is part of our final answer. And then the 2 is just by itself. So the order is 19a plus 2 because the numbers by itself, the constants, always go last. Okay, let's try two more. Find your parentheses. Here they are. Find the number outside, here it is, and then distribute. 10 times 3x is 30x. Bring down your plus. 10 times x is 10x. Okay, and rewrite the rest of the problem, minus 12. All right, now let's combine like terms. So here's 30x plus 10x, and then minus 12. All right, so 30x plus 10x equals 40x. That's part of our final answer. And the minus 12, make sure it's minus, is by itself. See how it's minus? Very important. So when we go to write our answer, it's 40x minus 12. That's the biggest mistake is people always put plus. They forget the minus. All right, let's do one more before you try on your own. Find the parentheses. Here they are. Find the number outside. Here it is. Distribute. 8 times 7x is 56x. Find your operation plus, bring it down. 8 times 5y is 40y minus 6y minus 3x. Okay. Let's find our like terms. 56x minus 3x and then positive 40y and minus 6y. All right, so we have 56x minus 3x, so that's gonna be 53x. He's part of our final answer. 40y minus 6y, that's gonna be 34y. He's part of our final answer. Alphabetical order, the x comes first. 53x plus 34y. All right, now you try the next two on your own.
All right, if you're not done, go ahead and hit pause. And if you are done, let's go over it. So once you distributed the first one, you should have gotten 16y plus 24y minus 10. When you combine like terms, you should have gotten a 40y and a minus 10, and your final answer is 40y minus 10. For the second one, once you distribute it, you should have gotten 12k plus 28y minus y minus x. Once you combine like terms, you should have gotten a 12k, a 19y, and a negative 9x. But when you put it all together, the proper order was 12k minus 9x plus 19y. All right, that is the end of the lesson. We'll do more practice in class. Let me know if you have any questions at all.